today you're joining me as I walk the dog. But I'm not here to talk about my dog. I'm not even going to tell you his name because if I did, maybe you'd try and hack into my eBay account. No, instead, I'm going to talk to you about security updates. That sounds a bit boring, but listen. Remember when you were a kid how fantastic it was that you would receive presents once a year on your birthday and you think this is marvellous, best day of my life. The downside, of course, was that it was your birthday, which meant that it only happened once every year. Now Microsoft, God bless them, have tried to fix this problem because they're trying to give you something not once a year, but once a month, which is 12 times better than your birthday. What they're doing is they're wrapping up a bundle of security patches and fixes to sort out your Windows computer. Maybe update Internet Explorer, maybe update the operating system, maybe update the way in which fonts are rendered. Why are these things important? Because these are all ways in which your computer could potentially be exploited by malicious hackers. So you need to keep up to date because the hackers discover ways in which to exploit these loopholes to compromise your computer and install malware on it. So you want to keep your computer fixed and up to date with the latest patches. And they call it Patch Tuesday. They just did one last night. It was a second Tuesday of the month and they released scores and scores of updates. And what's more, so did Adobe. And they often do, releasing fixes for things like Flash, Shockwave and PDF Reader, things which often get exploited. So if you've got a personal computer, you want to keep it up to date. Now the good news is you can configure your computer to automatically download these updates. That's good for home users, not always so good for business users who may want to test the updates first. If you haven't got that set up, maybe you should go to a website like update.microsoft.com where Microsoft will work out what security patches you need and then offer them to you. Now there's one group of people who can't take advantage of Microsoft's terribly kind gift of monthly security updates, and those are the Windows XP users. Windows XP is no longer supported by Microsoft. They've been trying to kill it off for years, and they can no longer maintain it as a secure operating system, which means that you really, really should update from XP to something more current, or alternatively, switch to an alternative operating system rather than Windows. Regardless of which operating system you use, it's important to keep up to date with security patches, not just for the OS, but also for the applications and programs you have on that computer as well, because all of those could potentially be exploited. There's a myriad of ways of doing that, but make sure you go to the legitimate vendor's website for those security updates, because there are scammers out there trying to trick you into downloading malicious updates, actually designed to infect your computer, and again, compromise your systems. It's a bit of a nightmare out there. If you want to get the Microsoft update, what you should do is go to update.microsoft.com where it will take you through the entire process.